architecture of java fx in java fx here you can see uh, architecture of java fx in a different view um, java fx has uh, numerous built-in elements that are interconnected with each other um, java fx library comp uh, uh, comprises a valuable collection of apis classes and interfaces that are more than sufficient to produce rich internet applications and uh, GUI applications with intense graphics that can run consistently over multiple platforms. The uh, subsequent figure displays the complete architecture of the JavaFX platform. Um, here you can examine the elements uh, that supports JavaFX API. Uh, as we can see in in the figure here, JavaFX architecture comprises many different uh, components. JavaFX components are briefly described as follows. JavaFX uh, API, the topmost layer of JavaFX architecture holds uh, a JavaFX uh, public API that uh, implements all the required classes that are capable of producing a full features JavaFX application with rich graphics. Uh, the list of uh, all important packages of this API is as follows JavaFX.animation. It includes classes that are used to combine transition based animations such as fill, fade, rotate, scale, and translation to the JavaFX nodes. Collection of nodes make a scene graph. JavaFX.CSS it comprises classes that are used to append CSS like styling to JavaFX GUI applications. JavaFX.Geometry it contains classes that are used to represent 2D figures and execute methods on them. JavaFX.Scene uh, this package of JavaFX API implement classes that in interfaces to establish the scene graph. Uh, in extension, it also renders sub packages such as canvas, chart, control, effect, image, input, layout, media, paint, shape, text, transform, web, etc. These are diverse elements that sustain this precious API of JavaFX. JavaFX.application This package includes collection of classes that are responsible for the life cycle of JavaFX application. JavaFX.event It includes classes and interfaces that are used to perform and manage JavaFX events. JavaFX.stage This package of JavaFX API accommodates the top level container classes used to, for JavaFX application. Uh, scene graph uh, A scene graph is the starting point of the development of any GUI uh, application. Uh, in JavaFX, all the GUI um, applications are ma made using scene graph only. The scene graph includes the primitives of rich internet applications that are known as nodes. In simple words, a single component in a scene graph is known as a node. In general, a scene graph is made of a collection of nodes. All these nodes are organized in the form of a hierarchical tree that describe all the visual components of the application's user interface UI. A node instance can be appended to a scene graph only once. The nodes of the scene graph can have numerous segments like effects, opacity, transforms, event handlers, application specific states. Uh, uh, the nodes are of three general types. These are as follows, uh, root node, a uh, root node is a node that does not have any node as its parent, leaf node, a leaf node is a node that does not contain any node as its children, branch node, a branch node is a branch node is a node that contain a node as its parent and also has a node in its children. 
quantum toolkit quantum toolkit is used to connect prism and glass uh, window in tools uh, toolkits uh, collectively and makes them prepared for the above uh, layers in the uh, stack in simple words <coughs> it ties uh, prism and uh, uh, GWT uh, together and makes them available to Java FX uh, prism in the graphics of the Java FX applications are based on the hardware accelerator, accelerated graphics rendering pipeline commonly known as prism prism engine supports smooth Java FX graphics that can be executed swiftly when utilized with background graphics card or graphics processing unit GPU in the situation where the system does not contain graphic cards, then the Prism engine default to the software rendering stack to interpret graphics. Prism a uh, Prism practice uh, direct uh, nine D direct X nine on Windows XP and Vista, direct X eleven on Windows seven, uh, Open GL on Mac and Linux em embedded systems, uh, Glass windowing toolkit. Glass window in toolkit or simply glass is a platform dependent layer that assist in the in connecting the JavaFX platform to the primary operating system OS. Uh, glass window in toolkit is very useful as it provides services such as controlling the windows, events, timers and surfaces to the native operating system. Web view. JavaFX applications can also insert web pages. To embed web pages, web view of JavaFX uses a new HTML rendering engine technology known as WebKit uh, HTML. Web view is used to make it possible to insert web pages within a JavaFX application. JavaScript appear appearing in web view can call Java APIs and vice versa. This element uh, promotes different web technologies like HTML5, CSS, JavaScript, DOM, and SVG. Using WebView, we can execute the HTML content from JavaFX application and can also implement some CSS styles to the user interface UI part of the application. Media Engine, like the graphics pipeline, JavaFX also Possesses a media pipeline that advances stable internet quality media playback at low latency. This high performance media engine or media pipeline is based on the multimedia frameworks known as uh, GStream. By applying the media engine, uh, the JavaFX application can support the playbacks of audio and video media files. The package javafx.scene.media covers all the the classes and interfaces that can provide media functionalities to the JavaFX applications. Uh, here you can see a JavaFX API and a scene graph. Below those you can see a quantum toolkit. Below that uh, you can see a JavaFX graphics engine. Prism uh, Win32 GTK Glass OpenGL D3D WebView WebKit Media G Streams are inside JavaFX Graphics Engine. Uh, below JavaFX Graphics Engine, you can see JDK API and tools. Below that, you can see a Java Virtual Machine. Now. Uh, this is the uh, end of my presentation thank you very much for watching it